Today I'm going to teach you how to make a do-it-yourself mason jar oil candle. Now in the kit that you picked up from the library, I have two different types of kits. One has more decorative, inorganic materials, and one kit has more organic materials. Now you can go ahead and intermingle these things if you have more than one kit, or if you have some items around the house that you think would look nice in one of these oil lamps, you're welcome to do that. The things in the organic kit, except for the cranberries, were things that I found in my yard. Different kinds of pine cones, some cedar for my cedar tree, and so those things will be different depending on which kit you picked up. Now the thing that all the kits will have is a glass jar. It will have a combination of oil and an essential oil. This is cooking oil, canola oil, with some essential oil put into it. And then also a floating wick. Um, we'll ask you to have, supply your own water to fill up the candle, um, but I, for now I'm gonna show you how this works. So first thing we'll do is make one of these. I'm gonna drop in some glass, little glass beads. Now you can arrange these however you like, and if you want them in a particular order in the bottom, you can take a knife and poke them around. Um, put these jingle bells in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill this with water. just about to the neck of my jar. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the oil, pour that on top. You'll see it bubble down for a second, but then it'll rise back up to the top. And then I'm gonna take my wick, and you'll notice that the wick has a silver side and a cork side. You want the cork side down because the silver side is gonna reflect the light for you. And you just set that right on top of the oil. Now when you light this, it will burn for up to two hours. So that's a pretty cool thing. I'm going to put together an organic one, but I'm not going to put a wick in it just because I don't need two oil candles at my house. So I'm going to put together, I'm going to put these cranberries in the bottom because I'm sort of afraid they're going to float. nice big pine cones. I'm going to tear apart my cedar a little bit so that I have some different parts. Put in another big pine cone. A little bit more cedar. And then I also have these nice little round pine cones. All right, I'm going to pour in the water and we'll see how that looks. And there we go. If I was turning that one into a candle also, or an oil lamp also, I'd pour my oil on the top and put my wick on the top. And then I would have another festive oil lamp to use. If you have any questions, please give us a call at the library and we can walk you through it. Thank you. And here's a glimpse of what it looks like after it's lit. has some beautiful light.